In this two-part tutorial, I'm going to take you through creating a full marketing landing page website, which you can deploy to the internet very cheaply, all just using your voice or chatting your way through designing the interface. I started my career as a web design 20 years ago. We weren't even using CSS back then. It was all table-based layouts. I've rarely seen such a piece of technology that I'm so excited by as I have in the likes of tools like Cursor, V0, and Bolt, which have come out in the last couple of months. They allow you to talk a design into existence. I've had a backlog of projects that I've wanted to work on and bring to reality that I haven't been able to do purely because it just takes too much time. Now I'm sitting in front of this uh, interface and basically just chatting projects into existence. So I'm gonna take you through a workflow in this video with a tool called V0. They're all fairly similar. V0 allows you to prompt an idea or an interface or a landing page into existence, but it gives you a very vanilla basic version. It's based on these different components and blocks that it pulls from a framework called ShadCN and using Tailwind to style that. So through the tutorial, I'll show you how you can basically chat your way into improving the design. And in the second tutorial, we're gonna take that design and deploy it as a fully functioning website using a tool called Cursor AI. And I don't write a single line of code during both of these tutorials. I'm basically just using natural language to chat all the way through. And I've also taken note not to use too much industry terminology or jargon, just to make sure that um, it's accessible to as many people as possible. Okay, here we are in Vercel's V0. So you're gonna to wanna to start a new chat up here in the sidebar and then down here. Create a marketing landing page for an AI agency called Switch Dimension. Optimize it for high conversion. It's spitting out the React code. It's given me a nice little icon logo up here. Features, testimonials, frequently asked questions giving me some AI solutions, predictive analytics. Uh, sometimes you'll see this, it's just processing all the way through, don't worry. Um, okay, this is quite cool, but I think I'd actually like it in dark mode. So, can you make it dark mode? Okay, modify the previous landing page to include a dark mode toggle and adjust the styling accordingly. One thing that's a little bit annoying about V0 is that when you're making these changes, it actually writes the entire page over again. Um, so that's an advantage with using a tool like Cursor in that it's only going to edit the parts that it needs to and does that quite quickly. You're not waiting for the whole page to reload. So I'm presuming V0 are going to work on this or fix this at a later point. Okay, cool. So now we have our dark mode. And just so as not to confuse things, I'm actually going to remove the light mode. So I'm going to give it a few commands at once and let's see how it goes. So remove the light mode and have the dark mode as default. Remove the toggle button, make the logo white, put a white, yellow, white to yellow gradient on all the text titles. So you can see it handed a few different commands there all at once. And it can be a faster way to uh, work because it takes such a long time for V0 to iterate through a page. So yeah, it's starting to look a little bit uh, better. In the AI solutions section and the what our clients say section, the three items, I want them to appear in one row at the medium page setting, like it would be on a iPad, instead of having one, two, and then a third one fall to the next row. Can you also add an additional section called About Us? On the left-hand side will be a title and some text, and on the right-hand side, leave some space for uh, an image. Okay, this is looking a lot better. Transform AI Solutions About Us. Can you change the section that says Ready to Switch to the AI Dimension to a Get in Touch contact form? Can you change the gradient on the text titles to be white on the right hand side and yellow on the left? Can you drop the font thickness on all the main titles? Make it thinner. Change the main 
hero title from transform your business with AI to learn, comma, build, comma, grow with AI. Change the tagline to we help you discover, build and launch AI apps and solutions for your team, clients and customers. Let's change the enter your email and get started button. Get rid of that and just put in a button that says get in touch. Put a yellow to white gradient on it and link it as an anchor to the contact form at the bottom of the page. OK, that's a load of instructions. Let's uh, see how we go. Oh. Can you change the background from slate to neutral? Can you put a square grid in the back of the hero section? Can you reduce the size of the titles by 20%? Can you add social icon links for LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube in the footer? In mobile mode, can you make sure that we have a hamburger menu that gives us the mobile dropdown. Now, what I'm deliberately doing here is trying not to use a lot of the web design and web development knowledge that I would have. So I wouldn't say mobile mode. I'd say, you know, at the small, extra small, medium, large breakpoints, I want to see a responsive flex row that grows with spacing around it. These are all like terms that a established front end developer would know. What I'm trying to do here is use natural language as much as possible from the perspective of, of a novice coming and trying to make these changes. They're using natural terms. They're not, they don't have industry terminology. And to be honest, the model is doing a really great job at interpreting those. And I think this makes it really accessible for so many more people being able to express their creativity without being technically constrained. Cool, we have our mobile menu features about testimonials. Can you make sure the hamburger menu sticks to the right hand side? The grid didn't seem to appear. Can you check that the contrast is set right and that it's displaying correctly? Can you give me a divider between the hero section and the our AI solution select section? It should just be one pixel and maybe a gradient from yellow to black just to separate the two sections. Hmm. You can see the grid appears up there, but it, then it just kind of disappears again. Reduce the size of the logo by 30%. Have the word switch dimension stick together so it's switch no space dimension and have the second word dimension in a thinner weight than the first word switch change the icon to a electricity bolt okay so great <laughs> that's just so cool i did that so well OK, so just a quick note on the pricing, um, you get about 200 credits a month, which is generally decent enough to create um, a landing page or a few basic pages. Um, it's really only if you're an agency or if you're creating a lot of pages on a consistent basis, do you need to switch up to $20 a month? Um, I think in some cases you can just pay for a month where you have heavier usage and you're doing a lot of designing and then just turn it off again. Let's make that background gradient on the hero section yellow to black. Let's change all the buttons to have a greater corner radius. I don't want them looking so square. I want them completely rounded. OK, I'm going to try something a little bit interesting here as well. The icons in the Our AI Solutions sections. Can you create a circle around those? with a border and have a gradient from gray to black within that circle. And then the icon is in the middle. The border should be only one pixel and the same color as the border on the outer card. 
Oh, sweet Lord, that did a great job. <laughs> That's very good. Oh my God, that is very good. I mean, it's able to take my semi-incoherent ramblings and actually convert it to something that works. So in the past, I'd have to be setting up some kind of a div or container around that icon. I'd have to write a load of CSS to set the border that would go around it. Um, I'd have to set up some uh, uh, CSS gradients. You'd basically have to just hack your way through a lot of different little pieces of code. I literally let my train of thought into the chat input that's something that took a minute that in the past would have taken maybe 20 minutes if I'd you know, forgotten some of the syntax and had to do some lookups and stuff like that. That's brilliant. Okay, so this is a bit better. It's a little bit more subtle. Yeah, so looks, you know, pretty good on iPad. I'll check it on mobile in a second when we move it over to cursor and oh yeah, look at that, that's sweet. So you have the options of sharing this. So I'm just going to share here so that everyone can take a look. Generate a unique URL for this block. So let me share this. I'm just going to make it public. And then I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it into the description down below so you can take a look and let's hit publish. So let's say you've developed this page and it's your base template and you know you want to create other variations on top of this but leave this one alone. You can actually open up the design you've created and hit fork here and what it would actually do is fork that to a new repository and a new chat. You can leave the original one alone and I might change the color scheme here. I might do a whole lot of different changes to the blocks etc to create a whole new website while leaving the original uh, alone. So that's a cool capability. So again, the benefit of V0 is number one, it's building using React components. It's using Tailwind to do all the styling, which is another really popular library with a lot of support. And then all the components, the actual cards we see here, um, different sections, uh, sidebars, widgets, uh, input boxes, they're all based on Shad CN. So Shad CN is another really popular styling or component library that allows you to basically take what somebody's built already and just implement it over and over. And the thing is that the large language model is going to have a good knowledge of all of these things, React, Tailwind, and Shad CN. What you don't want to do is be picking very obscure languages to work with because the corpus isn't there and you're not going to get the same results. So while V0 kind of puts you on rails a little bit is in it's giving you these same kind of structures, you do have the ability with Tailwind on top of that to create and change the designs as you saw fit. You saw the standard one that was put out originally and how we started to change it by just prompting color changes and changing it to dark mode and all those different kind of things. In just a fraction of the time previously possible, I was able to create a full landing page for a company called Switch Dimension, change all the content and the text, build out a solution section, an about us section. I'm going to add that image in in a second. Some client testimonials, frequently asked questions and a get in touch form. So next up, what we want to do is take this from within V0 because you can't publish a website, you can't connect it to a content management system, you can't put forms in it. It's basically just creating the design of the components of the site. You want to be able to actually edit it and put it up online. And to do that, we're going to use Cursor AI. So Cursor AI is going to be able to give us the ability to edit all the code, uh, iterate on top of this design that we've created. So if we want to take this and add it to our code base, we have two options. We can go to the code here and we could um, copy everything down and add that into a page in our new Next.js repository, or we can do something here, which is called add to code base. So I click on this button here, and this is basically giving me a command that I can run that will actually add in this page, along with all the components that are required from Shad CN 
and actually involves installing those components as well. So this is by far the easier way to go. We're using NPX to just add in everything that we've created here because we just don't, we, we don't just have a page. We have all these components that need to come with it. So you can see here we've got, we need to be able to import she, she content, she triggers, apps, trending apps, all these different things in terms of icons from Lucid React and everything else uh, that goes with that. So add to code base here is usually the way we want to go. So let's actually get our cursor project set up. At the end of this tutorial, we've walked away with a pretty nice looking landing page using V0. It's very similar if you use it to like Replit Agent or Bolt or even using Cursor itself. Um, but what we have now is just the design. In the next tutorial, I'm going to take you through taking this template and actually deploying it as a full website. So make sure to like, like and subscribe. I'm just finishing editing the second one. It should be out in a couple of days. If you're interested in building an AI first business or startup, that's the kind of content I put out on the channel. It takes me ages to make these videos and I'm putting them out for free. A little like, subscribe or even a comment um, just to let me know how you get on really gives me the enthusiasm and love uh, to keep pushing out this kind of content. So see you in the next one.